We're going to kick off our discussion talking about network devices by revisiting the network interface card. And I know that we've already talked about this, but I think there's merit in revisiting it. So we're going to spend a couple of minutes just to solidify your knowledge of a network interface card. So the first point is that the network interface card is what's installed on your computer. It's either built into the motherboard or it's going to be an expansion card like this one right here, where it plugs into the motherboard right here. And its main role is you simply use it to plug in the network cables into the ports and allows you to communicate on the network. And what happens? Well, we have electrical signals that go in and out of this port. And that's our data that goes out onto the network and the data that comes back to us. Now, in regards to its acronym, the acronym NIC is going to be used a lot in the IT world and networking world. So if you hear NIC, just remember that stands for Network Interface Card. Now, in regards to how it looks, it can come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. And it can look like a USB thumb drive. It can look like a standard one. It can have a Wi-Fi connector. I mean, they really have all sorts of designs. And in fact, I even have one now where it's literally the size of this right here, where there's just a little tiny piece coming out the end where you can pull it out. It looks like the ones for your wireless mouses where you plug them into your laptop. And literally, that's all it is. Um, now. This is going to be your standard one where it's an expansion. This is going to be a standard one where it's an expansion as well, where this is cabled and this is Wi-Fi. However, when you get into the server world, you are going to need a higher level of redundancy. And you're going to see network interface cards where they have two ports, so it has redundancy built in. So if one of the ports go down or if the cable breaks or is an issue, then the second one will take effect. And we're talking about things like file servers and web servers where you want a high level of redundancy and uptime. So, you know, just don't think of a network interface card as something like this, where it has a port or something like this. You know, it can be a little tiny USB thumb drive where it plugs in, or it can have multiple ports. So that's our quick refresher on network interface cards.